Hello YouTube and welcome to another load balancer tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to implement HA proxy cache. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first of all, what is a cache? So actually the cache is a piece of hardware or software that stores data that can be retrieved faster than other data resources okay so caches are generally used to keep track of frequent responses to user requests okay second what are the advantages of using a cache so there are many advantages of using a cache okay so caching can actually be used to speed up the system okay second it improves the latency of the system and finally it reduces network requests okay so here we are using actually each a proxy load balancer and we can also implement actually caching so first of all let me connect to my Linux box here we go so I'm gonna provide my credentials here we go so let's verify that our load balancer is still working with this simple script here and you can see that here the load balancer is distributing the load to my three backend servers okay so you can see here it switches from server 1, server 2, server 3 using the round robin algorithm. Okay. So let's implement actually HA proxy caching. Okay. So in order to do that, we need to open our config file as usual. So it's uh, let's open it using, for example, uh, them so as you may know it's located in etc directory it's a proxy and the name of the file is haproxy.cfg here we go so this is our basic config file for haproxy so in order to implement caching we need actually to add a section called cache so let's do that and see what we get so let me go to the insert mode so I will hit the I key on my keyboard here I'm using them here we go now I'm on the insert mode and let's add a section called cache okay so I can call it whatever I want let's call it just my cache for example here we go and inside this section I must I must add some uh, actually directive so the first directive that I should add is the actually total max size okay size so here actually I have to specify the total size of the cache in megabytes so remember that in megabytes so let's for example set the total max size to 5 megabytes okay so here it's better to add commands just to remember here that's the total size of the cache in megabytes okay here we go let's add another directive and this directive actually will be the max size of any single item in bytes so this is the max size of any 
item but this time not in megabytes but in bytes okay so here the directive is max object size so let's set it for example for uh, 11 or 12 yeah 12 it's okay then I will add here the time to live for each item in second okay so time to leave for each item but this time in seconds okay and the directive is actually max h okay so here you can actually uh, set it for example for 60 if you want or 30 okay so those are the directive that you must add in your cache section okay in order to implement caching for each a proxy but after that i must go actually to backend servers and add some other directive okay so i will go here to the section of the backend servers and i will add here some directive so the first one is to use the cache which in this case i call it my cache for all actually uh, requests requests okay and the directive is http requests and here i have to provide keyword cache use cache use and here the name of my cache which is actually my cache <laughs> and another directive that uh, we must add is actually to store each TTP request in the cache okay so we'll add a comment store HTTP requests in cache and the directive for that is HTTP as you may guess responses in this case and keyword is cache store and here the name of the cache that I used and in this case is my cache here we go so those are the directive that we've add into the backend section so you remember first you have to define your cache so here I call it my cache and add this three directive and in the backend section we add actually two lines one corresponding to the http request and one to the http response so i will leave my insert mode here and i will save that here we go and now i have to restart actually my h a proxy load balancer with the directive you may know it this is one okay so i have no error that's fine so now i have configured each a proxy for caching let's uh, actually uh, run script here we go now it's working and if you go to any web browser and you try to actually browse to this load balancer and if the backend server have some stored images some static data they will be actually cached so any further request actually will be faster okay so remember that 
So this is uh, just a simple uh, things to do in order to speed up your request to the backend server. So that was a brief introduction to how to use HA proxy caching. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.